Sit. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Ellie, come on. Ellie. Ellie, come on. Sit. Good girl. Come here. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Yeah. Come on, Ellie. Come here. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Come here, Ellie. Come on. Come here. Come on. Ellie, come here. Ellie, it's okay. Come here. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Wait, sit. Good girl. Good morning, guys. Welcome to snow day. First snow day of 2024. Oh, the girls are just getting up, getting ready to come out and do chores. Oh, it's so cold. Sam didn't even tell me it was this cold. Well, it's noisy. <laughs> oh, it is cold outside. And it is noisy in the barn. Everybody warms out. Oh gosh. This door opened. I feel like I should leave it closed today. Keep the duck and the goose in so that I can keep the barn warm. Well, that's annoying. Sam's gonna put a lock on this door. He hasn't done it yet. But, now that the door blew open, he's gonna have to do it. Good morning and welcome to today. It's a snow day, like I said. Super exciting. I love a good snow day. I love a good blizzard and then it's supposed to be really warm in the next few days which means it's all gonna disappear we're gonna get the beauty of a snow day and then it's just gonna all disappear and we'll be back to spring like weather oh i don't know where ellie is ellie I'm sure she came in here ellie come on ellie oh she's outside holy moly get in here Anyway, this morning you guys saw me um, working with Ellie a little bit outside. I was telling you guys how crazy she is. I mean, how fun she is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> everybody is quiet. Oh, he's so cute. Anyways, everyone's quiet for five seconds while they eat. Mostly quiet. So uh, Lola, she's like, I'm yeah, Lola is already making noise. But I'm going to explain to you what. I am trying to explain. Uh, yesterday I was trying to explain to you guys how Ellie is ferocious in her way. She's a terrier, she's a typical terrier. She wants to go outside. I take her everywhere with me because she's a lot of energy and a lot of drive. So she has a lot of drive to go out there and kill rats, which is what she's been bred for. And it's so instinctual in her and so strong in her that when I open the door, and I let her out each day. She goes after Ruby. She uses Ruby as a rat and she chases her. I mean, she chases her and chases her and chases her, grabs her ankles and shakes and shakes and shakes and Ruby can't walk, she can't move. The only thing she can do is run to get away. But it's in excess. Ellie has ADHD like a lot of terriers do. And she, Ruby is not that kind of a dog. And she's also not the kind of dog to say back off. So she doesn't get her in trouble. She doesn't snap at her. She doesn't, like Molly would never put up with that. Daisy puts up with it just a little. But Molly, Ruby puts up with it. And so I'm trying to save Ruby because she's an older girl and try and train Ellie. Most of the time, Ellie is really good. Her recall is really good. We did a lot of training as she was a puppy. This is a new development on the Day by Day Farm. Right, Ellie? It's a new development. You're just newly bad, right? <laughs> anyway, I know she's not bad. I know she's just doing what, she's, what her instincts tell her to do, but I need to change that. So I've done a lot of stuff to try and figure it out. When her and I come out by ourselves, she does amazing. Only issue that we're having is that she gets focused on other things, hyper-focused. So she's listening all the time for other things. You saw just a few minutes ago when I was showing you me training her outside where there was a lot of wind. We're expecting a, a winter blizzard today. And she was so focused on that wind and she was looking all around. She almost seemed nervous but she isn't able to focus on me when I need her to focus on me because she's so driven. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So 
last night when I was supposed to be going to sleep, I was thinking like, what in the world am I gonna do? Like, I need to fix this. I need to fix this for Ruby. It's me that takes Ruby with me. All the dogs go out in the backyard. They use the backyard to run around. They go to the bathroom. They use it like a regular dog would a backyard. But all of us take our dogs out past the backyard for more focused running or more focused work. I take Ellie everywhere with me and Ruby wants to come with me. She chose me, she wants to be with me even though Sam is her owner. So it's really difficult for me to separate the two of them. And I wanna be able to take Ruby with me. So last night when I was thinking, I was thinking, you know, maybe I need like a, maybe I need like to go back to high value treats and, and start fresh again outside and then carry it through when Ruby comes out. So even though I've done it before, it's been a while, like I used to train her. Every time I trained her outside, it was always when we were alone and it was always before this problem started. So that's what I'm gonna do. I talked to my friend today who's an animal expert and she was saying that she thinks I'm on the right path, that I need to start fresh again, use high value treats get her remembering and focusing. So you guys saw that even when the wind was blowing really, really hard, she was unable to focus on me there. So I'm gonna work on that for a few days and really work on her coming back to me. And then I'm gonna start again with Daisy, with Ruby. So anyways, that's a long story about that. Um, you know that door, you know the door that you put the pallet up against and said that yeah. should keep it closed? I, it blew open when I came down this morning. So I put a big brick in front of it as well. And then I walked away and I came back five minutes later and it was blown in again. Yeah. I know, I'm gonna keep that door closed today. I'm gonna just put the lock inside. Yeah, thank you, that's, that's what I wanted. <laughs> anyway, welcome to today, our first snow day. We'll have Gabby on the vlog today, a little later. What's your plan, sister? Um, to check my phone. I know I'm excited for snow because I want to take the horses for a walk but I just don't think it's the right day is today because <laughs> you saw Ellie with the wind imagine what the horses are gonna be like with the wind I don't want to like get out there I want to take them down the trail I want the I want to do the trail in winter you guys you know our little trail that we go on I want to do that in winter and I want to take so many photos of our horses and get really nice pictures I so anyway I don't know what today is going to bring. <coughs> Hopefully it's going to bring <coughs> getting goats ready, <coughs> getting their feet done, getting them all toned up. But right now they're all ready to go outside. So let's do that. Um, yeah. Uh oh, this is how we get into trouble. Yeah. <laughs> the, the duck and the goose want to go out today, but they're not. I know, there's a lot of wind coming in there. That's why I couldn't tell if it was warm in the barn. I need to take this board off. Fix it? There's a lot of stuff in this barn that we didn't fix. We tried to just make it usable for us. Well, we were getting ready for winter, but now that winter's here, there's some things that we see we're gonna have to fix. There's a lot of wind coming in over here, which is good. I know, we need a whole new door. The other doors are supposed to go in and that one's supposed to go out. So I was talking to my friend and she was like, yeah, we're gonna have a blizzard yesterday. We're gonna supposed to get like 25 inches. And I'm like, yeah, we're having a blizzard today. The school bus is are canceled even before the snow because it's going to be this big huge blizzard so they canceled every school bus to make sure that the kids aren't on buses when the storm starts so that they don't have to try and get home through a blizzard she's like oh my gosh how much snow are you guys gonna get and i'm like five centimeters <laughs> which is about is that what how much is five centimeters i, I thought it was 10 to 15 centimeters oh yeah we're supposed to get 10 to 15 centimeters so we're actually supposed to get five to 10 centimeters, which is maybe 15 inches. So yeah, Canada is super safe. They take their kids seriously. They take the health and the safety of the bus driver and the kids super seriously. Because my friend said like they're expecting 25 inches and they didn't even 
cancel buses everybody still went to school but anyway our first blizzard come along and we're going to show you um how it is how we're going to handle our animals in the blizzard this is our first real farm we had a horse farm previously for the last five years four years was it four years four years maybe we had a horse farm and it was simple we just went down we took care of the horses we had some chickens they pretty much took care of themselves they could go in and out we had a little door that they could go in and out they choose to come in and out uh, but now that we have a duck and a goose and we have all these goats things are a little more complicated and I'm excited to see how we do he's like the fat cat he's like the fat cat I know, all he does is lay around and eat. That's all he does. So we accept those habits because it's winter. But normally he's like a good weight and now he's like extra thick. Well, I think it's because he has a lot of hair. But anyway, we let Ollie, so we I set up his hair. bed in the tack room thinking like we could put a heater in there or we could like keep it warm if we needed to. What the hell was that? Oh, it was Lola. <laughs> What was that? We should do her feet right now, Sophie. I think I did her feet already. So anyway, we I made a bed for him and then and then we waited to see what he did and where he chose to sleep and where he where does he sleep? Does he sleep on the hay bale? He's, no, he sleeps up there. He sleeps up here above this little room, this little secret room that we don't know why it's there, but he sleeps up there. And so we put a blanket up there for him yesterday, his little blanket so that he can mm. snuggle in. And he was kind of scared of it yesterday. <laughs> Donkey! Look, look, this is fat. That's all fat. Are you and sure little, that's fat? And a little bit of hair. Are you sure? <laughs> look how wide he is. But that's not, that's all fur. It's fat. It's all fur. It's fat. Look at, look at how deep his fur is. His fur is in that. Oh, he's, he's got some Trunk? cushion in the... He's got some junk in the trunk. Like, I can feel little bits of fat. It's weird. He's but he's mostly fur. He's still mostly fur. That's weird. He's and you need a little bit of extra fat in the winter. Because how else is he supposed to keep himself warm? Anyway, so that's his bed up there. He's eating hay. No wonder. Now we know why he's chunky. Do you see? He actually ate that hay. He ate it. And then licked his lips. And he has a bowl full of food because I just checked it. So I'm going to get every single thing ready for tonight so that when we come down in a blizzard, we don't have to like do too much. Lola. You do Lola's feet. I know that you are having a hard time right now. Sam forgot his cane. Then everything seems to crumble. Oh. What? <laughs> Hold on, Help. I'm coming. I know that you I know. Oh, it's snowing. <laughs> Gabby just came in from the storm. How's the blizzard? Watch. Look at she's covered in snow. Watch how tree my goat is. Lola, I mean blossom. Up. <laughs> Molly she, hates it outside. She's I old. know. She was really excited to come down here. All of us, I know. But Dad, Dad let her out with her while I was still getting ready and she jumped on the door to go back in. I know. So suddenly your dog doesn't want to go outside. I don't know if it has anything to do with that dog, but I think it's because it's colder now. She looks really cute with snow on her. <laughs> yeah, she does. You know that's for? Yeah. <laughs> you would probably love goats, Gabby. Gabby's not into goats. She only does horses. She only stays in the horse barn. You want to try it? It's actually so super satisfying trimming goats' hooves. I just did our buck. And they were, he was. And it was hell to get him back in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's yeah. not, it's not just. Ellie that's hell. Goats are hell too. Goats and Ellie have, are a lot alike. <laughs> when you walk toward them with your arms out. <laughs> yeah. Don't go out that way. The door's not closed. Which one do I grab? I want to grab the duck because he looks fluffy. They're both fluffy. Well, I'm 
<laughs> oh, you got yourself a goose. You didn't put up much of a fight. Uh oh. <laughs> put your trust into us and we will help you through because we all. What? Quackers. She got crackers. What? She's yellow. It's a girl and she lays eggs. And I think that's like the oil in her hair. I'm pretty sure she's staying. I'm <laughs> pretty sure it's oil. All right, are we almost done? Gabby's gonna help us get the next goat. We want the other brown one. Or either of the white ones. No, we want the big white one. The yeah, white one. let's get the big white one. We got three people down here. Let's ma master her first. The boy or the girl? The girl. The girl. Yeah. Do you know which one is the girl? Yeah. Big, big what one. are you doing? Well, oh, I thought this door could open. Jesus. <laughs> Wait, Gabby's good. She's thinking it through. She's a thinker. We're doers. She's a thinker. Okay, well, how does this attach? It, like, I don't want to get slammed in the Gabby. face. You won't get slammed. Okay. We've never You're been slammed. All they do is ram you. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> get it, get it. <laughs> Sophie can wrangle any goat. It's a blizzard. Grab any of them, Sophia. Grab any of them. Sophia, Gabby, we need your help. <laughs> Grab her horn. <laughs> She's afraid of being dragged around. The only one that drags you is that yellow. I'm actually so surprised. So surprised. I see Gabby telling the buck go away, and he's like, I don't know you. I'm going away. To us, he rams us. Oh. Oh. What the heck is happening? It's a blizzard. All right. Lola's just like, what's going on, guys? <laughs> she's like, she's a sweet, innocent baby. She doesn't have horns. She's tall. Oh, go get her food bucket. Get the food bucket. Any guesses for babies? What are you thinking? She's looking pretty low, though. Isn't she looking low? But I noticed she's going low, slow. Slowly getting lower. Ellie, you get down. She's a senior doe. She's had babies before, so her milk bag shouldn't really fill up until the day before. Is hers smaller than the other one? She goes into labor. Yeah. Hers is soggy. We are done, and the poor little... Tilly is so upset. Poor little me, I got my feet landing on the wall. Yeah. On both so a lot of our goats will come, like five of them, can't wait to come in. They come in, they jump up on the stand, they see the food there, they jump up, they're so easy. But her and her baby, which were the hardest ones when we got them the least friendly. Come on, have more. I want you to have some. You did a good job. Have some, you deserve a treat. Anyway, these are going to be the hardest ones. Because we want to breed goats, I don't know necessarily that we'll keep her, this one. And if we do sell her, we might sell her baby with her because I don't want to break up a family. But I don't know if we'll sell her. We're going to wait and see how the birthing process goes. So most of our goats will just come, which is the big problem, is that they all want to come. But the ones that don't want to come, we end up having to like catch to get their feet done. So Sam and I are getting ready to go outside because... Sam, can I wear your hat? Sam got two new hats for Christmas. You want to wear this one? You got the hat? hat one? Show them your hat. You want to wear this one or that one? This one. Can you put this one on me? I don't like the no, little hanging. You should wear this one. No, I want to wear this one. Because that one is straight. That one's tight. I don't care. I have a smaller head than you. Right. Those are for your ears. Alright. <laughs> oh, I like this hat. I like the red and the black. Yeah, that's why that's I like nice. that one. That's nice. It's nice. So warm. Okay. Okay, so essentially I've been watching the I've been watching the camera all day in this blizzard. It's still a blizzard, you guys. Not, not snow. Get, but get. I've been watching the camera all day, checking on the goats, and I can see all the goats every time I call them, I can call them on the camera. They all come running, but the baby is missing, so I'm worried about her. And what are you checking? What are you checking? Great Pumba? Yeah, um, the one door for the horse. To go in the barn, the snow is coming in. I want to make sure. Yeah, so it's, we, snow and stuff. it's a blizzard, and we're gonna go and check the farm. Look, 
Look at what dog's here. Only one dog willing to brave the, the blizzard. <laughs> Only one dog willing to brave this blizzard. Whoa, it's wild. Look at, we got snow. <laughs> She's so funny. Ah. Ah. The horses come in here to drink and he doesn't want them to have to run all the way like go. He doesn't want them to have to go all the way around the whole barn and then come in that door. But he doesn't want the barn full of snow either. Sam, do you want me to go down by myself to the goat barn? Yeah, because it kept blowing open. Yeah, it's not closing uh, for some reason. Yeah, see, it's gonna close up. I don't know, they need to be able to come in. Like, look at poor they Storm. Storm looks so sad. Are you gonna put them in early today? Yeah, we'll bring them in a little bit early. All right, do you want me to go down and check on the goats by myself? Yeah, I hate that, I like <laughs> company. Number one, it's farther to go. <laughs> and number two, I hate going down there by myself. Woo! Braving the blizzard for the goats though. The storm seems antsy. Oh my gosh, it's okay. It's okay, you wanna go in? I'll tell them. Oh my gosh. Sam, you should put them in. Only because they seem like they wanna go in. Look at the snow drift. Ah! They're like, let us in. Let me just see if it's warm in here. So when I was looking in the camera, Oh yeah, it's warmer in here. They were all over here. They are not happy either. I don't know, I'm a soft, I've, I'm gonna put more hay out here. They don't, they don't look that happy. <laughs> it's like, just let us in. Oh, the barn is warm. Oh, super warm, I love it in here. She sneaks in every time I open the door. She's looking chunky though. All right, I'm gonna just give them more food and then I'm gonna head back up. Do you wanna put everybody in? Because of the blizzard? I know, they wanted to go in. I think if they want to go in, they should go in. <laughs> oh, I couldn't get through that gate either. It's so dumb. All right, it's 3 p.m. and Sophie wants to put the goats to bed. So I closed up this door so they're all contained in there. I don't know why we don't do that. That's the smartest thing ever because then we can go in and out of this door without any animal trying to attack us. We're so dumb, we're dumb. Back in, get back in there. You came out for five minutes for a walk. <laughs> get back in, you're all freshened up. One of the reasons I didn't want to get goats in our old house was because I was afraid that winter was gonna kill me and I was gonna hate winter and I was not gonna to wanna to take care of them in winter. I was worried it would be a lot of work. They are a lot of work, way more work than horses. And I, they're easier to clean, less smelly, but they're bad. <laughs> Come on, Ellie. They're bad. Wait, let me swap my phone to the but other one. But today has shown me that it's fun. It's still just as fun. We love it. It's not. It's not. <laughs> they were soaked? Yeah. So I put them in and they're like. I love that hat. Comment yes below if you love that hat. Attach you to a string. Are you going out? No. Why are you putting your boots on? She's taking them off. Oh, were you? did you go help dad? Huh. Did you guys do it on your own accord or did he call you? Oh. <laughs> All right, so in other blizzardly news, new babies are hatching. The last of our winter babies are hatching. Not the last of our summer babies. Yeah, we'll probably hatch in the summer too. Storm does not like bad weather. He just doesn't. The first drop of rain in the summer, he runs to the shelter. Like, he does not tolerate bad weather. So if he comes to us and says, like, I'm not loving this, we're gonna obviously put them in, right or wrong. We're gonna listen to them. That's our motto and that's what we're gonna do. Goats all seem happy to be going in. That means you guys get to move out there. Yeah, so those guys gotta move outside. Not in a blizzard. Not in a blizzard though. Anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks for coming along on our very first blizzard on our new farm was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Now I'm hungry though, I'm starving. Yeah, you should make hot dogs. All that work makes you hungry. Anyway, we'll see you guys. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?